so today guys we'll be making a super smelter inside of Minecraft. Now you're probably wondering, why can't we just use the furnaces and just individually smelt them? Or put items instead of each of them? Well, the problem is, is that that takes forever. Now this redstone design that I'm going to show you guys right now is going to be an efficient way to just throw coal or whatever your fuel is and throw whatever you need to smelt inside of a chest and it'll be automatically distributed inside all of the furnaces. Now this is going to be interesting because I haven't done this sort of redstone video before but let's crack on it. Right after I recorded that clip I realized that my current movie making software, or the software that I used to put together my videos, failed to work. So I had to spend 10 minutes working on that. But it's fixed, and I think it's ready for us to start. So what you first want to do is you want to place a chest right there. That is your output chest. Next, you want to place hoppers on the side of that chest, going out 10 blocks. That's 3, 4, 5, 6, Seven, eight, nine, ten. On top of nine of those hoppers, you want to place furnaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Is that nine furnaces? Hang on. Recently, I've been tr having trouble with my thing, with my space bar. Double check. Four, five, six, that's nine hoppers. So I guess I went on 11 hoppers, but I actually suggest leaving, going on 11 hoppers because it'll just make the video a little bit more, not the video. Oh my gosh, I'm having trouble with words today. Just the furnace and the cleanness a little bit better. Next one I do is you wanna place hoppers running out of that single hopper there. You're able to run it out as far as you want, but for me, I'm going to run it out just about here. Now, because we're making nine rows, I'm just going to go one more out. We'll have to make sure that there are nine, that there are four rows of hoppers. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I want to repeat what I'm doing for three times that I did over there. This this be one of them, and then another one, and another one, and I'll catch you guys when you guys finish. So, if you finished, you should probably get something that's similar to this. So next, what you want to do, so on every single furnace, you want to make a setup that that looks similar to this. So a hopper running into the top of the furnace, and then a hopper running into the back of the furnace, and you want to do that for every single one of your furnaces. So the one running into the back will be for the coal. Seriously? I'm having trouble with my space bar today. I, uh, I really have no idea why it's doing this. And then you also want to have hoppers running into the top just like this. And you want to repeat the same design on each of your rows. Also, if you want, you can also put the hoppers in on the front like this and to shorten the amount of redstone work that you will do. And that's also what I will be working with. All right, so that is me finishing up everything. So next, next what you wanna do is in the rows you have the hoppers going into the one of the back side or into the front side, like this, if you did it the way that I did it, because this is the way that I'm doing it. So you wanna place a redstone block there, and then you also wanna place a redstone block here. And what that will do is I'll just cause continuous corruption. So now we will be doing the Minecraft cart system for the coal system. So you wanna do something that's similar to this, going across until it hits this hopper. And you wanna go up like that. You wanna place rails going down. 
to whatever point that you feel like. And then switch over to powered rails to give the minecart an extra boost as it goes down the track. I don't know. Pick it up, pick it up, please. Pick it up, pick it up. Okay, yes, that works. And then more rails bring along just like this. And then you want to place another powered rail here on top of the block of redstone. And then more rails. That's actually every, almost everything completed for the coal section. Next thing you want to do is you want to take another block output from the coal section. And for me, to, to make this as small as I can make it, I'm trying going to try to... Something that's similar to this design. Actually, is there a way to stop minecarts? And then to do that, actually, no. I'm actually going to keep it like this. And then only on the ends do I actually give it a boost, yeah. So you actually want to keep placing rails just like this. I know it's a little bit tedious, but trust me, it'll help you out in the long run. And then you come up, and you want to connect that into this block right here. You want to place block right there, redstone, and then kick, basically just connect it up. Rail there, another block of redstone, still rail on the rail. And finally, for this final tedious job, you place rail, 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 rail there, powered rail here, and then rail, 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 rail. And that's everything done for the coal circuitry. So now, if I place a mine cart with a hopper, not a chest, and if I go that this way, it should make its way around with no problem. And then that's where it picks up its items there, and then it goes around and around and around. Yes, that works. And I'm going to give you guys a few minutes to, to build this if you guys are lagging behind, which I'm probably sure you guys are. So I'll catch you guys there. Okay, so I'm back, and as you probably see, there are a few things different now. As you can see, there are these things here. Those are for the upper section. Now, we have to have them one block higher like that, because if we have them one block lower, it'll interfere with the minecart for the, what's it called? I'm having a roadblock, and what's it called? Oh, yeah, the coal feeder system. So that's why we put the, the blocks there, and you want to mimic that just like that. So now, I'm going to start this time on the end. The one side, and we'll sneak our way around. Space bar issue. There we go. Fly mode. Enabled. So, you first, so what you want to do is, once again, rail, rail, rail on top of the upper hoppers this time. And then you're going to do rail up there. Powered rail here, powered rail here, powered rail here. Rail, 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 rail. That was, that was embarrassing. Rail, rail, and then rail up like this. Finally, powered rail, powered rail, powered rail. Regular rail, just like that. Then regular rail, rail, rail. I know this is sounding a little bit boring, but trust me, this will make do in a long time. Now also, if you want to build this at a smaller size, 
you're free to be able to. You just have to just make it smaller. And if and those who have been subscribed to other Minecraft channels probably have seen another way to build this. You can just have one row, and then you can just use the statistics of one row of this build to try to make it the same way on your build, which is not actually a lot of differences. So now that we finished. Oh no, I stopped the minecart. Ah. Can't seem to get my spacebar to work. There we go. And it should touch the rails and keep going. Oh no, it's going the wrong way. Stop the minecart. Okay, yeah, I got it to go the correct way. Oh my gosh. It's been a long day today. It's been a long day today. I've had a lot of trouble with recording issues today. And it has been a nightmare. So next one it is, is just you want to connect each of these side of the hoppers up. So I'm going to do is I'm going to build it out four blocks just like that, and then I'm just going to run it in just like this. So now we have to make our input chests, which will import all of the items that we need smelted into the correct combination bins. I'm gonna place powered rails here just to give minecart just to give the minecart a boost before it gets onto the railroad or the actual thing itself. And I'm gonna place another block here. And then we can just connect these all up with the rail. Very simple old not very good looking rail that just looks boring. No redstone involved. Here's one of the things that I like about this build. So there's no redstone dust, no repeaters, no comparators, no nothing. All that it is, is just a lot and a lot of iron, wood, and cobblestone. Well, I guess if you were to build I guess if you, if you were to build the redstone blocks, you would need redstone dust. So like, so like you saw me building there, you want to build a double chest on each layer. This bottom layer is for coal. This top one, this top one here, oh my god, is for the inputs. So now if I go in here and I get myself some coal, if I get some gold, I don't need gold ingots. Let's say I need some cobblestone that I need smelted into smooth stone. So what I would first do is I would open up that chest there and I would dump all the cobblestone that I need smelted. For me, because I'm using creative mode, I'm able to use the cool middle button click, click using to just get that. And then when that mine carpet chest comes around, it takes a few items out. Now I want to do the same thing to the coal chest. Coal, more coal, and more, more, more coal. So now, going like that. You should see that the first few furnaces have been fired. Oh my gosh, that is really satisfying to watch as the first few furnaces light. That is really satisfying. I wonder if these three are firing. Pinging them. Just getting five. So also what also was kind of going wrong here is that because I don't have a lot of hopper systems, the minecart doesn't leave full. Now there is systems to build that with, but I'm not going to show you guys this, but this is this is it. This is really it. As you can see there's a little bitty bit of cobblestone left, and as you can see it slowly makes its way around the, th the track. Now I'm adding more cobblestone to this because 
it can. And I'm going to add more cobblestone to this, too. Oh, my gosh, the phone is ringing. I don't want to answer it. Anyway, that's everything completing. Now, I'm going to go AFK for a while to see how long it takes for all these furnaces to become full. And I'll catch you guys when that happens. Two hours later, well, we still have the same amount of furnaces smelting. I guess that's because we need to extend, we would need to extend how much time that hopper, minecart with hopper spends at each of these chests. And that can be a little bit hard to do, especially with the time. And if you want to spend more time on it, there is an easy way to do this, but I'm going to challenge you guys to do that. But that's all I got time for right now. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like, subscribe if you like to, and peace out.